Yep, 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 like Sun Lee. All right. What are we checking out today? This will be six forms. A chess style TCG for competitive players. Flipping through the cards. Which deck do we start off with first? One through three, four through six. Okay, so we're going with the Lady in the Robe. Okay, I was thinking like, you know, like a lot of people, they do the AI art, but not here. We got Front Box Art by by Anato Finstark. All right, so six forms. Wield the divine light of courage and the aura of valor with radiance. A 55 card ready to play single player starter deck. Embrace the light and prove you have what it takes to embody the six forms. Scan to visit sixforms.com. A chess style TCG crafted for players with a competitive spirit and a desire for evocative art. That is not artificially intelligent out. Uh, scan that joint. And then we have the Kickstarter coming in March, a mere about a month. Uh, Kevin D's project director, my man. Thanks for the thanks for the decks, and uh, yeah. So also sixforms.com. Check them out. I got a gameplay on TTS. You can play it on there for right now if you want to. And then uh, I'm gonna make a quick how to play. Hopefully I can get it down to one minute, but we'll see that soon though. Cool game. Played the one time, there's uh, little rules, but uh, once you get the rules, I'm sure things will be all snappy. Fifty-five cards. I guess to add a little context, I'm gonna kind of gloss over the rules real quick. All right, so you're playing on this four by four grid. You're gonna have twenty life, fifty to hundred card deck. Each player starts with one spark, which is like an extra resource, just like an extra um, energy. Draw five cards. Uh, yeah, uh, 32 energy cubes in a deck. Each player, each turn gets one energy cube. So like at your upkeep, eight squares on your side that you can spawn on. And then uh, there's an energy cost on the cards at the bottom left. That's how much you had to pay to cast it. You can only spend one spark per turn, and they go away. They tick down, so you can track them on dice, the sparks. Sparks are just like an extra energy. Um, the uh, battlefield cards, they'll have a stat on the bottom right. And then equip cards, they don't get actually casted to the battlefield. They'll stay off to the side, so they never really touch the battlefield, the equip cards. You can play battlefield cards in one of four ways. Ready, face up. You can play them tapped. You can play them ready, face down. Or you can play them tapped, face down. There's a turn order acronym. It's called DRAMA. That stands for draw one. There might be a player reference card. Yeah, so draw one. And then there's a regroup. Which is, uh, you can freely uh, move an orientation of a uh, battlefield card to a different orientation. Free move. And then, uh, then act phase. This is the main phase. So in this one, you'll go play a card. You can orient a card. You can uh, place card, a weight plus one. Place one card per turn. Reveal a play card and then animate turn right a card and then activate effects or pay to attack and then you go to the move phase Where all of your ready cards may do one Move So you can move up to two on pretty much most of the cards and then you can uh, move to attack as well So you can move to then attack you attack on the guy that's on the square that you're moving into and then you go back to the act phase for uh, part five of the drama. And then end is kind of not in the acronym. It's a silent E where you release gates and then you discard down to seven cards if you have more. And then uh, play. There's some play cards that have an infinite deal. 
place face down. Okay, there's an attack, a health, and a weakness of cards. So, before I go into all that, I kind of try to just hit that really in my little quick run through. But for right now, we'll flip through the cards. All right, so we got Armored Comrade. So this guy has these arrows pointing in these four directions. So that means that it can attack straight up. It can attack to that uh, 45 degree right there. Or it can attack behind it. And then, like, say that this were my guy, I could cast him in any one of these four lanes. Four spots. Okay, uh, this guy has... Uh, he's a technological avatar and a human warrior. So avatars are just your creatures, monsters. And uh, Bruce is... Man, might as well go over the keywords too while I'm at it. Bruise, I believe Bruise is... Man, I forget Bruise. I think Bruise is like... Usually all damage heals up. After you hit a guy. After that combat phase or whatever. After that combat. But I think Bruise actually... Keeps damage counters on a guy. Even though the game is... Combat damage goes away after that particular one single combat. Alright, but uh, on play, this guy... Gains two energy, gains you two energy, I think. Or you can spend two energy. Yeah, you spend two energy when you cast this guy, I think. This gains plus three attack, plus zero health, and then plus zero weakness until end of turn. If this enters battle this turn, gain two life. And then uh, on dodge, pay one energy or lose one life. Dodging is like getting out of the way when somebody's coming to at you or something. It's a dodge mechanic. Card's very slick right now. Card back. There's a eight pointed star, but it's six forms. I'm sure it all makes sense in the lore. All right, then we got Awaken the Fallen. Spiritual actions. So actions, of course, you play them, you discard them. Uh, when I forget what that one is for right there, but uh, on play, eliminate an avatar you control. If you do, take one battlefield card from any graveyard. Okay, so you get to get something from any graveyard, and then that one costs one energy to play. All right, then we got Axeman, can uh, attack, blow, 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 blow. So that can. Uh, that that basically attacks any direction. So uh it costs four to cast it. And it's a five attack, five health, three weakness. Okay, the way weakness works is weakness. Weakness kind of kind of unique in this game. So uh, all damage is trampled in the game. And weakness means that the attacking card behind your card, so like say that this one were were behind my axe man and then this attacks my guy so now this guy has weakness since it's like behind somebody you can direct it well we'll get to that so um with weakness or like this is also weakness because it's behind it but um weakness attacking card gets opponent's weakness added to their strength so now this guy would be four strength because you add their weakness to you, to the attacker's strength. So this becomes a four. And then it also gets even worse though. So you also subtract opponent's weakness from their health. So it would have five health, but now it drops down to five minus three. So now it has two health. So that's just crazy. Very crazy. So not only do you get not only do you add to the opponent's attack, you also detract from your health. Crazy. All right, two X-Men's in there. And then a Black Star Dragon. A Celestial Avatar Monster Dragon. It has flying. In, uh, 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 um, and this game works like flying can fly, move right over ground units, and ground units can move right under flyers unique aspect of the game 
You know, this guy's at eight drop. And this guy can also move in. I mean, this guy can also attack in all directions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, my bad. This guy can attack to its left and right, though. Black Star Dragon can. In a, on battle, choose one, gain one life, 20 life gain. And then, uh, or you can draw two cards, discard one card, lose two life, gain two sparks, lose two life. Yeah, like in the demo game that we played, we didn't deal with a lot of sparks, but this is where the sparks came in. So start the game with one spark, or the first player does or something. But uh, sparks are just like extra, an extra one energy you can play once per turn. Cool. All right, uh, Book of Spells, a uh, magical action boost on play. If you control a wizard, choose two. Otherwise, choose one. Target avatar gains one power, co one power counter, and then just like you can use a dice to track it. One power counter, but you would have to kind of like distinguish which one is a power and, and which one is a uh, health or whatnot. But um, uh, draw one card. Or gain two life. Consuming Wolf. It's going to attack just uh, the north, south, east, west. And a magical avatar. A monster colossus. We really need to look up what that solid thing is. I kind of forget. All right. But uh, while active, you spend five energy in one spark. Then you can draw one card, gain one life. This gains plus one attack. Plus zero, plus zero until the end of turn right all right counter action magical action strike this one is not the spark symbol this one is the that symbol is not the spark symbol is it yeah so spark doesn't have a symbol forget what that symbol is it will come to me in a second but uh on play when an action is played target that card and negate its effects then destroy that target nice i think we got crimson flame dragon you can attack in seven other directions uh one it has the fly on play spin three destroy target card and some flavor text bringing down those who challenge your power. 653. You don't want to have weakness guys out there because that can get very brutal very fast. But they seem to be the uh, the powerful creatures and such. This guy lowly one drop, but it's a one two with no weakness. Okay, then direct hit, technological action, strike on play, target opponent with six or more life, loses three life. Draw one. Dragon Rhino Gorilla, we play with this one. This goes in every direction as well. Eight directions. Block and dodge. Three one one. Only cost two. Elven Warrior. Five directions. Dodge while active. When you draw, plan one. Plan is basically scrying, I believe. Um um on dodge, lose one life. You may pay one energy to plan one. Two two zero. Two drop. Galvanizing choice, magical action boosts. Really need to learn what that symbol is. Um, on play, create two energy, lose four life, or discard two cards. Let's try to find out what this symbol is. Activate a fix, I think. Activate a fix. I don't know. Yeah, I really got a bone up on what that is again. All right, uh, Goddess of War. Title. Uh, cover art. Uh, Goddess of War. Uh, one in Bruise. On play, you may deal two damage to an in reach card in opponent controls. And then on battle, in reach is like usually you can reach two squares away from you in the same direction. It can be diagonal if the card goes diagonally. But, like, you can only attack where the lines lead you to. So, this could be two away, reach of two. All right. Uh, on battle, 
Spin three, draw one, and gain one life. Six, seven, two, goddess of war. Grand armillary, magical artifact, construct. While active, when you draw, choose one. Target place card gains one awake counter. Plan one for each form you control. Gain two sparks, lose two life. And uh, that symbol right there, what is that symbol? That symbol means don't deal damage, not any damage. Okay, so this is a battlefield card because it has stats in the bottom right. And uh, the way combat is, it's kind of different too. You've got to engage all the opponents on the field, meaning you've got to attack them at least once during that same turn. If you want to direct attack, the only way to direct attack is on their uh, last line. So like say that I'm this guy and then I can swing... If I've engaged everybody, like attacked all the opponents' his creatures and everything one time at least, then I can straight up attack right into the enemy's life of 20. And everything is trample damage unless a guy is like tapped, then kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh, you become like a defender. And then if they're set, then set, then tapped, it blocks too. If they're set and... uh. This is like transform. You got to pay for the card whenever it becomes attacked into. And if you can't pay for it, then you got to discard it. That's how that works. Battlefield cards. Uh, great Brown Bear. Six durations. Block and Bruise. On reveal, this card gains plus three, plus three, plus zero to end of turn. Uh, three, four, two, one. Two of those. Helix. Magical Avatar, Wizard Guardian. Two symbols I need to really bone up on. But uh, on play, for each Avatar you control, this gains plus one, plus zero, plus zero till end of turn. On battle, gain one life. Six, seven, two, five drop. Hexhammer Smash. On play, uh, X uh, energy that you spend, deal X damage to target card, lose half of X life. So direct damage, but you lose half of your life damage. Ice Orchid. Uh, three drop. One in whatever that is. I'm thinking it might be activate effects. Um, gain two life. Plan three. Draw one. Heal target avatar. Ice Swordsman. Play with this one. Bruise and dies while active. Tap it. Draw one card, discard one card. On dodge, pay one energy or lose one life. Two of those. Icy Veil. One on play, destroy all in play battlefield cards. Battlefield cards you control can't move this turn. All right, so big six board wipe. Nice. Kopesh Warrior. Uh, bruise and dodge on dodge, pay two energy or lose one life. Two one zero one drop. Then we got King's Courage, spiritual action boost on play, target warrior or Zephyrum. I mean, Zephyrum you control gains plus three, plus two, plus one, and shield until end of turn. Yeah, first kind of tribal thing I've seen so far. Warrior or Zephyrum that's a two drop. Lost Gems, Natural Action Boost, on play if you have three or less cards in your hand, draw two cards, otherwise draw one. Marvelous Strength, Magical Action Boost. Yeah, I swear I'm going to figure out what this is. Yeah, uh, on play, target avatar you control gains... Plus four, plus four, plus O, and indestructible facet until end of turn. Mechanical spider, four durations. Uh, on play, spin one, draw one. On play, spin three, this gains three power counters. On, on play three, this gains three power counters. So I guess you can do all three modes if you pay seven. Uh, three drop, three, three, three. Two of those. Mystical Guard. Seven directions. Block on reveal. Choose one. Gain two life. Heal target card. This game is plus zero, plus four, plus zero to end of turn. It's a one six, so 
I mean, that's a heck of a fire blocker. Okay, then we got Paladin of Light. I think that's the first Afro-American. Uh, Bruise on Victory. This gains one power counter. I could be totally wrong. But uh, in a time of need, there's like 3-3-0. Then we got Raven's Word. Teen Titans. All right, on play, gain one life. You discard up to two cards. Everyone draws until they have five cards in hand. Resurrection. Giggity. Uh, one on play, select one avatar from any graveyard. Play it for zero. And if that card's base cost is six or more, sacrifice it at the end of the turn. Six or more, okay. So you can keep uh, five or less. A silver dragon. Six directions with flying seven six two. Spiked jaguar. All eight bruise and dodge. On dodge, pay two or lose one life. Two two two. Swift end. Cool art with the. Oh man, these things are so slick. Let me fix this. All right, kind of good thing that those did slip out of my hands. Uh, the game also does come with damage counters, so I think, uh, like you know, these will probably be the power. No, no, these will probably be the health, the bloody ones. These will probably be the weakness. Well, we'll go weakness, and these will be the strength, something like that. To track the power counters and such. Something like that. I'm thinking that's how it'll go. But alright. Uh, and then a large portion of these were were the energy cubes. You'll grab one at upkeep every turn. On the regroup phase. But if you forget to. Then that's just on you. You just miss out. But you'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Basically you'll have... Uh, a whole a whole deck of 32 of these and then pretty much that means that everybody will pretty much cap out at 16 energy that's unless somebody forgets to get one or you ramp somehow all right so a uh, watchtower a natural artifact construct it has battlefield stats so on play plan three and then i'm sure you can knock that out to energy uh white eagle Seven directions, block, dodge, fly. On dodge, pay two energy or lose one life. So, like, if somebody's trying to attack into you, you can dodge by dodge, get out of the way if you have a clear lane to do so with. And then when you do, though, you got to pay two energy or lose one life. So, there's consequences to it. All right, white wits, all the directions. Block while active when you plan an action card, deal one damage to the target card. 151. Technical maneuver. Technological action boost. On play, draw three cards, lose half your life, or discard two cards. Teleport. Magical action synergize. That symbol. On play. What can that symbol be? I can soap my notes again. Yep, just not glancing at it and seeing it. But uh, on play, teleport an active battlefield card you control to an empty zone. The Guardian. On play, when an avatar an opponent controls moves to attack, negate that move and end their current move step. Nice. All right, treasure map. Yeah, so the uh, kind of like the, uh, the, the kind of brain games of the game is like, there's no summoning sickness in the game, so you so, so like you only get so many moves or whatever. But if you set a card face down, then like you get an extra. Uh, okay, you can only play one card a turn, but you can place one card, which I think is face down. You can place one face down per turn, so you don't have to pay for the one that you're placing face down. But you do have to pay for the one that you're playing face down. So that's how you can 
get in extra cards on the field by placing one. That's that. Yeah. All right. So that's kind of like the uh, the strategy right there. Treasure map four on play. Plan two. Draw one. White wizard. Now known as wise wizard. Uh, magical artifact. Wizard guardian. One on play. Spin one. Draw three cards for zero. Play one avatar with base cost eight or less from your hand. Yeah, sounds crazy. All right, but this is an eight drop, so it has a big benefit to it. Six, four, three. Woman in arms, dodge on play. Spin X energy, gain one life, gain half X life on dodge, lose one life. Two, two, zero. Woman of war, bruise, dodge on play. Spin three, deal two damage to an in reach card. And op controls on dodge, pay one or lose one life. Looks like the game is a two max of game, but I could be wrong. Hmm. All right, a uh, sword of hope, a uh, magical equip item, equips warrior while equipped, equipped gains plus two, plus zero, plus zero. When the equipped is victorious in battle, plan two or gain one life. Tangle on play, select a battlefield row or column. Ground avatars in the selection become stunned until end of turn. And another swift in. Alright, so that's been Radiance. Radiance. Six forms. Like I say, Kickstarter coming in March. And check them out right now on sixforms.com. And yeah. Scan it up. And I uh, look forward to my um, gameplay coming naturally tomorrow and i'll also look at this one in a second for your games like comment subscribe spark